So today we're going to have a quick look um, how to set up the uh, right port diversion for Echo Ham. Uh, we need to know two important bits of information. The first one is the IP address of the computer that we are on. So at the moment, uh, the green one, we're using we're using our um, um, system preferences, and in system preferences, we've got uh, network <coughs> and here where the network is, um, we can see the one with the green light on, that's the one that we're using, and there should only be one of those. And our IP address is indicated over here on this side. Um, and so we know this one here is 192.168.2.7. Okay, uh, with that information, we can then go to our router, which on this network here is an airport extreme. The Airport Extreme um, has got um, a, the ability to go into the edit mode here and under network we have got something called port settings. Now in port settings, if you haven't configured this before, you go to uh, the plus button and the plus button allows you to enter a port mapping. We're going to use um, echo link. Um, as our port mapping and we need to enter something into the UDP ports and the private address uh, so the UDP ports the private address is going to be 7 so the address that we've seen here we're going to put that address in here I've actually got one already configured up so I'll show you what that looks like that's here so if you uh, want to make a note of that you need to divert port number in the UDP ports 5198 and 5199 uh, and those ports are going to be diverted through to 192.168.2.7 which is our PC here, our, our Mac where we are running uh, the Echo Ham software <clears throat> and once you've got that done all your connections uh, should work fine and we're of course diverting it through to the same port number so these three lines need to be filled in um, call it Echo Link or whatever whatever name you choose and then uh, you've got that in here and once you hit the update button the airport is going to restart and everything is going to be configured and you should be able to connect to other ham stations that's it thank you very much uh, for listening